What's up, you guys? It's your boy, Outrageous. We're currently out here chilling in the place where I made my first video. I actually used to come out here every day in the morning at like six, seven o'clock in the morning and run and walk and just think and connect with nature. It's actually a park up there. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, it won't let me zoom in. But it's a lake down there. We currently just out here chilling in the grass with some water, just thinking, talking to nature. And I just want to say, you control your life. You control the things that you make your life out to be. If you dwell on negative situations that you can't change and you look at them in a negative way, then it's going to be negative and you're going to have a negative outcome to that situation no matter what you do because you're looking at it in a negative way. No matter what happens, things can be negative or things can be positive. Even the negative things can be positive, but it's up to you to make those negative things positive. If you have a situation where someone walks out of your life, maybe they were meant to walk out of your life and you can't change somebody else, but you can change you. You can change your mindset against the situation and determine if you're going to sit and look at the situation in a negative way or if you're going to look at the situation in a positive way. You control the way that you look at every situation you go into. I have a lot of situations that I deal with in my life, a lot of circumstances, a lot of things that I'm dealt, cars that my old self would look at and get distraught and get confused and start to question God, why? But as I've grown into the person that I'm growing into, because I'm not fully who I'm to become yet, I'm molding and allowing God to mold and shape that person as of right now. But I'm realizing like there are things that you can't control. And you the biggest thing that you can't control is other people. But the one biggest thing that you can control is what's in here. Is what's inside of your mind. So if you got a situation where somebody walked out of your life and you sit every single day and you're upset and you're hurt and you're beating yourself up and causing yourself to think that you may possibly be the reason that this person walked out of your life, then you're just making the situation worse than what it really is. Maybe God closed that door for a reason because God does everything for a reason. So if that person left your life, Stop trying to bring them back into your life and stop beating yourself up like you're the cause of the situation. God might have done it for a reason. Things happen. You can't change things that happened in the past. You can't go back to the past. We can't teleport to the future or to the past. It don't work like that. Life is going to keep moving on and you have to keep moving with it. Or you're going to continue to drain yourself and drag yourself and beat yourself up and just create a life that you don't want to live. You got to live positively. You are the one that's in control. If I'm just going to use this situation as an example. If you're a woman and you have a kid with someone and the person that you have a kid with is a negative person and they don't want to take care of the kid and they don't want to be a part of the kid and they don't want to be a part of your life. Don't force them to be. Maybe it's for a reason. Maybe they're going to do for that child things that you would never want them to do for that child. And maybe them not being a part of that child's life and you being a part of that child's life instead and only you, solely you. And maybe someone else, if they come along, will be better for that child instead of someone who can negatively drain a child or not teach them things that they need to know, boy or girl, it doesn't matter. Um, but that's just an example. But with that being said, if you think about that and you really sit back and take a look at it and realize like, hey, maybe this is true. Like maybe this person was gonna drag this child down and they might abuse the child. There's millions of things that could happen that you have no clue of what could have happened if that person didn't walk out of your life. So just think about it. Realize 
if you wreck your car and you got to pay whatever it is, you got to pay the insurance company of someone else and you ran into someone or whatever the case may be, you could have died in that situation. You could have killed someone else. You got to think about everything positively. You got to look for the good in every situation that you go through. Because if you go through your life just looking at every situation that you go through in a negative way, your life going to be terrible. And God gave us a choice. You can accept him as your Lord and Savior. You can walk in faith. Or you can be a person with a negative mindset that allows the devil to just have control of you. And just allow the devil to make you think in a way that is going to drag you throughout your whole life. And then your family is always wondering why you're not happy. Or you might not have your family anymore. But your friends wondering why you're not happy. Or you're wondering why you don't have any friends. Because nobody wants to be around you. Because all you're doing is thinking negatively. You have to think positive in every situation that you go through. You have to cherish every little thing. Like I woke up this morning. And that's the biggest blessing that I could receive. Because millions didn't make it. But I'm just one of the ones who did. So I'm really thanking God for that. And I just want y'all to know the devil is out. It's 2023. Jesus is going to come back. So the devil is out doing everything he can, trying to prepare for battle. God's already won the battle. So that's nothing to worry about. But the devil is trying to do everything he can to prevent that. And he's going to keep building people on this earth building them up in a negative way so they can be controlled by him and then he's going to use them when the battle comes and you're one of those people you watching this video right now and all you do is dwell on the negative and drain yourself and drag yourself through mud and dirt and rocks and sticks and whatever the case may be you're getting used by the devil stop letting him manipulate you like I say, you control your life. Um, I know I told y'all I was going to do a leg day video. So I'm probably about to go hit the gym and hit legs. But I just wanted to come out here and cherish this wonderful scenery. It has been a long time since I've been out here. It's been it's like a year. But it's just so beautiful out here. And I just want to come and cherish it. Because God gifted me the opportunity to wake up and be able to come out here. I could have died a couple years ago. I was doing crazy things. I was shooting at people. I was robbing people. I was getting shot at. I, I was doing drugs. I was all over the place, man. I was lost because of this. Because of this right here. I had no mental strength. And I didn't have the capacity because of the things that I was surrounded with. I chose to think negatively because of the things that I was surrounded with. Let me say that again. I chose to think negatively only because of the things that I was surrounded with. But when I found God and I met my pastor and he saved my life and, and changed my life and turned me around, he helped me do a U-turn to go the other direction and go God's way. It allowed me to think about all the situations that I went through in the past in a positive way. And that's why I say to this day, I never regret the situations that I went through because it made me who I am today. And it allowed me to realize that if I didn't go through all of those situations, I would have never got to the point where I got saved by God. Because he's like, let me put you through all these things. So when you come to me, you can realize how powerful I am because I was on some drugs, boy. I'm telling you, I was on some drugs. I was drinking alcohol, man. I was killing my liver i was drinking promethazine which is promethazine codeine which is lean the stuff that y'all see Lil wayne drink all these rappers out everybody want to drink lean i was popping percocets i was popping xanax i was popping ecstasy i was doing everything dude i was taking all kinds of pills anything that i could find i was crushing pills up and putting them in in marijuana blunts blunts weed rolling up weed with pills inside of it I got close to doing cocaine. I got close to doing cocaine. I ain't going, I'm going to be completely honest. I never did it, but I was very, very close. I had a dollar bill with a line of cocaine in it 
that one of my friends old friends left in my house or it could have been just someone i was an acquaintance with but it got left in my house or it might have been left in my i don't know it was left in my house or it was left in my car but i was close to doing it i opened the dollar bill up i was looking at it i wanted to try it i'm like hmm let me try this but something inside of me told me not to do it but i was that close just the same way as i was this close to dying to losing my life but god saved me and now I'm able to come and show you and share my testimony so you can know that you can change your life. So it's up to you. Choose that positive mindset. I'm about to get up out of here. Um, I'm going to go to the gym. So we're just going to keep this video going. I love y'all. Utilize your mind. Control your mind. You are the one that has power over your mind. God gifted you that at birth. The rich is to control your mind and to determine the life that you're going to live, you are the one that has the control. You are the one that creates your destiny. You are the one that finds what you're passionate about. But you can't do that if you're allowing all of these things to block you. So get out of that negative mindset and get into a positive one and start doing these wonderful things that I'm doing. I'm going to tune in once I get to the gym. What's up, you guys? We just currently got to the gym. Just to clarify what you guys... I got my ear pods in, about to play my music. We're gonna jump into this workout and go straight into this workout. I don't got a lot of time, so I'm not even gonna talk. We're just gonna go straight to the video. Um, I'm probably gonna add some music over it, but we're gonna get straight to it. Let's get it.
started some push-ups in the sauna. Close of the workout. Just hopped out of the dry sauna. Dang, can't even get my book back. That was complicated. But I know I told y'all guys I was finna hit legs. I ended up not hitting legs because my boy texted me and he a Marine. Well, he was a Marine. He could still get back into it if he wants to, but we finna hit legs tomorrow. And he said he wanna go high on the weights. So I know we finna get my legs killed tomorrow. I'm gonna be feeling real frisky. So I had to hit upper body today, but that concludes the workout. Make sure y'all like and comment on this video, share it to a friend, and also make sure you subscribe to the channel for more. I'll read this out, love y'all.